Oh hey, long time no see. What's up guys, it's Ray here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, we got a sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by an app that I actually already used before the company even messaged me, and that is the Amino app. Amino is such a great place to connect with people who have similar interests as you. Whatever you're into, there's probably a community for it, and if there's not, you can make your own community. Plus, there's always stuff for you guys to do on the app. Like, right now we're looking at a drawing challenge. Something cool about the art communities is that anytime you go to the featured page, you're just going to see so many awesome artworks from artists of all different skill levels and ages. And at any point in time, you can see how many people are viewing the exact same thing that you are viewing right now. And if you want to talk to any of them, the chat rooms, the way you can communicate on this app is just incredible. And guys, the best part is that anybody of any skill level can put their art on here and get their art shown. And yeah, my name is Spurry Dizzle on the app. Shout out to a lot of you guys who have already found me on there. Um, I post a lot of my artwork there, so uh, yeah, I will see you guys there. I feel like a real YouTuber right now. But thank you so much, Amino, for uh, supporting this channel, and thank you so much for working with me. Okay, so now back to the supplies. So, a few weeks ago, I got a package in the mail from a viewer named David, who is all the way out in England. And to put this lightly, uh, David came through! <laughs> David sent me not one, not two, but four different types of um, colored pencils that you generally can't find here at big stores here in America. Like, I'm sure if you look hard enough, you can find them online here in America, but generally speaking, like, I have never even heard of some of these brands. Like, I had no idea that Bic, the pencil slash pen utensil people, they make colored pencils, and they also make watercolor pencils. Now, David also sent me some oil pastels, which I am very excited to try out. And I guess he knew that I collected, like, novelty art supplies, because he sent a bunch of novelty art supplies, including a sharpener that is the epitome of my channel. <laughs> the last thing that I got in this package that I want to share with you today, David, bless your soul, <laughs> he got me European milk chocolate. But chocolate aside, uh, today guys, I thought I would review these uh, the regular color pencils that he sent me. Just kind of get a feel for them, see how they work. They're all student grade. However these pencils turn out, uh, David, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to not only package and buy the supplies and send them off my way, but just uh, all around thinking of me. I really appreciate it. And yeah, with that being said, let's get this party started. <laughs> Oh hey, voiceover Ray here. So our very first victim is the uh, Studler Norse Color 18 count pencil. Yeah, yeah, I said 18, so I was confused first because here in America we either have 12 or 24, but here it's 18. Plus it was really cool that when I tried searching for these on Amazon, they weren't there. It made me feel extra fancy. Okay, first pencils made in Germany, let's see what these babies got. Uh, why is there no white? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. There's just no white. I guess because these are like student grade, uh, they don't include the white. But it's whatever. I'll just use a white from the other pencils that he gave me. And it's usually at this point where I start talking about the pencils, you know, like the literal whole reason for this video. But... These pencils had this like amazing rubber texture on them and I was just like really... <laughs> I was a little bit too into the rubber texture, like, it just, it was so nice, like, they were the most luxurious pencils that I've ever held in my life. Those Germans, man, they know what's up. But yeah, just because they feel luxurious doesn't mean that they get a free pass for not having a white colored pencil. But I quickly got over that because these babies layer like a dream. In fact, your girl's gonna go on record right now. You heard it here first, people, that these layer better than... I can't believe I'm saying this, but these layer better than Crayola. But there's no such thing as the perfect color pencil. If I did have a criticism, it's that these are pretty dang hard to blend. So yeah, I guess my final score for these is a 7 out of 10. And yeah, you can probably see it better in the picture. 
Next up, guys, I am so excited to try these. These are the W.H. Smith colored pencils. And in the letter that David sent me, he said that these have amazing reviews. So guys, I am just like pumped. <laughs> like, I am pumped to try these out. And again, you can't find these babies on Amazon. And it was kind of a spoiler because I already knew how the pigment performed because, uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm still salty. But yeah, I was like really, really impressed with these. Okay, so like I said, 36 colors. And these had the exact opposite of problems as the other one. Like, they were hard to layer, but they blended well. And if you guys remember, on the packaging, it said that these were 5.99 pounds. And when you do the conversion, that equals $8.22. Yeah, not bad for 36 pencils. And not to be shady, but to be shady, these actually came with a white too. And guys, we actually have a guest this episode. Get ready for our unexpected visitor in three, two, one. Yeah, it's uh, everybody's favorite cute but bad little girl, Isabel. Sometimes she gets a little lonely and she'll stick her head right in the area where I'm filming. And today I decided to record it. Aw, she's so cute. But uh, anyway, back to the drawing. David, if you are still watching this, don't know why you would be. <laughs> uh, yeah, these colored pencils worked pretty dang great. Uh, you said they had pretty good reviews online, and I 100% believe that. And my final rating for this one is... Yeah, these are so good. But of course, not every single student grade supplies is gonna be a hit every single time. Introducing the Bic Kids colored pencils. Keyword... Kids. So yeah, even though I am absolutely ecstatic to have these in my collection, these are made for kids, and kids, you know, get a little rough sometimes and aren't necessarily that into blending colored pencils. And as you can see from that red right there, uh, yeah, these are pretty dang pigmented, I would say. Like, look at that, that's beautiful. These were just so incredibly, incredibly, <laughs> incredibly scratchy. Like, I couldn't, I feel like I couldn't do much with them. Um, I feel like the pigment on the white was just, like, not there at all. And, yeah, I, I hate to say this, guys, because, like, all the other drawings, I did the full three donuts. But this one, I just felt that I couldn't complete what I wanted to do. So I just erased the rest and gave up. So, unfortunately, uh, it's no surprise that my number here is... And just because, because, I thought we would compare these to Prismacolor and see how they compare against him. And of course, like, what do I even need to say at this point? You know, Prismacolor is, like, my life. Okay, let's take it from the top. We got the Norris color right here, which was the first one that I worked on. We got my literal new favorite, W.H. Smith. And lastly, out of the pencils we tested out, we got the uh, Bic pencils, which is the one that I uh, <coughs> gave up on. And in a major difference, we got, lastly, Prismacolor, which, now that I'm looking at it, isn't that big of a difference from the other ones. Like, look at Prismacolor, okay, and then look at the... Uh, W.H. Smith ones. Like, that's not that big of a difference. And just throwing it out there, the W.H. Smith ones had a white colored pencil. And of course, my Instagram saw it first. So, my final words on these pencils are that these two work pretty dang good for student supplies. Like I was really impressed with these and if I had to pick one and only just one, I would definitely pick, drum roll please, this one. I would definitely pick this one. But even then, these pencils, they were very similar. So either way, I feel like you're gonna get a bang for your buck. And as far as like the other supplies that he sent me, um, I would like to do a review on them on my second channel. So if you wanna go see that when it comes out, I will leave my second channel down below. But be aware that there's, uh, th there's some weird stuff on my second channel. So yeah. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next video. Bye.